Indian defense manufacturing is set to get a huge French boost. Safran, the French Aerospace and Defense Cooperation is expanding its operations right here in India. But will this also help India and Safran boost their partnership with the ultimate aim of producing a 120 kN jet engine for the AMCA Mark II stealth fighter jet? Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself attended the inauguration and Safran Aircraft Engine Services India facility. Situated at the GMR Aerospace and Industrial Park SEZ at the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport in Hyderabad. Prime Minister Modi was present virtually during the inauguration ceremony and stated that Indian aviation sector is set to take a new flight. He stated, Safran's new facility will help establish India as a global MRO hub. It will also open new opportunities for our youth. I am hopeful that Safran's investment in India will continue at the same momentum." Unquote. Now, this facility is the country's first deep-level aircraft engine MRO center established by a global original equipment manufacturer or OEM. The center is built with an investment of around 1300 crore on 45,000 square meters of land. It is expected that the facility will provide services to approximately 300 LEAP engines every year. Prime Minister Modi added, India's aviation sector has advanced at an unprecedented pace in just the last few years. Today, India is among the world's fastest growing domestic aviation markets. The LEAP engines will power Airbus A320neo and Boeing's 737 MAX aircraft. The new facility will increase the employment opportunity for more than 1,000 skilled technical workers and engineers by 2035. It also aims to reduce 85% of India's MRO work that was earlier carried out overseas. Apart from this, reducing costs and aircraft downtime will position India as a global MRO hub. CEO Olivia Andreas stated, the two new MRO centers in Hyderabad dedicated to LEAP and M88 engines and our new joint venture with BEL underscores India's importance to our group. We are proud to support the rapid growth of India's civil and defence aerospace markets and actively contribute to the country's Make in India policy and strategic autonomy. Now, Safran plans to triple its revenue through the Indian market by exceeding 3 billion by 2030 half of which will be generated by its infrastructure in India. The CEO also asserted that India will witness five times rise in sourcing by the aerospace giant. During the event, a light-hearted moment was captured where Safran's chairman expressed his connection with India. Its chairman Ross McInnes appreciated Make in India policy and revealed, I want to say I am attached to this because I was born in India. So, I am made in India as well. Now, this admission even made Prime Minister Modi laugh. To make in India as I was born in India, so I was made in India also. That is the Indian Prime Minister added, India is now seen as a trusted partner, a major market and a rising manufacturing hub. India today has rapid growth, a stable government, a reform-oriented mindset and a vast, young, talented pool and a large domestic market. And most importantly, for those investing in India, the country considers them not merely as investors but as co-creators, stakeholders in the journey of Viksit Bharat or developed India." Unquote. Safran also admitted that complete transfer of technology to India will be provided for its new fighter jet engine being planned for the AMCA Mark II stealth fighter jet. CEO Olivia stated that Safran will work with the Defence Research and Development Organisation the DRDO to co-produce this fighter jet engine for the Indian Air Force and its fifth generation stealth fighter programme. He was quoted by Economic Times stating, we are absolutely committed to transfer of engine technology, full transfer of technology for the next fighter engine development." Unquote. He emphasized India is the only country where Safran is ready to do so. It is also expected that soon both the partners Safran and DRDO will announce 
this joint venture for the fighter jet engine. The program is estimated to cost around $7 billion. India has already kick-started the development of its AMCA stealth fighters and is manufacturing five prototypes of its fifth-generation fighter jets. The establishment of a new Safran facility in India aligns with the country's broader economic goals and aims to promote innovation, global collaboration and a necessary push to make in India initiative. What do you believe? Is manufacturing a fighter jet engine India's topmost defense priority? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.